Hey everybody, this is Guillermo Lopez. Uh, still got Bo Jackson's arms coming out of my head here. This is a uh, part two of my uh, NFC, I'm sorry, uh, NFL divisional playoff uh, preview. Uh, we're covering the AFC now. We have the Indianapolis Colts and the Denver Broncos. In one matchup, and we also have the San Diego Chargers at the Denver Broncos. I will take the, uh, did I say Broncos twice? Colts of the Patriots, Chargers of the Donkeys. There we go, better. All right, cool. So uh, looking at the uh, Colts uh, Patriots preview here, um, Andrew Luck. Wow, what a uh, game that he had there against uh, the Kansas City Chiefs last week coming all the way back. Um, he threw some interceptions. A couple of them were his fault. A couple of them weren't. Did not get a lot of help from his offensive line in the first half. No running game to speak of, really. But he's able to put the team on his back and come out and get a victory. Um, the fumble uh, that bounced off dude's head that he grabbed and ran in for a touchdown. Andrew Luck went into the second half uh, knowing that he pretty much had to score every possession, and he went out and did that. Uh, very impressed, uh, very fortunate for uh, Indianapolis Colts fans to be able to transition from Peyton Manning to Andrew Luck. Speaking as a Raider fan, I, uh, I don't know how many quarterbacks we've had since uh, Rich Gannon retired, let's say. Rich Gannon nowhere near the class of Peyton Manning. We'll wait and see what Andrew Luck does before we give Rich uh, him better talk than Rich Gannon. Rich Gannon did win an MVP. Anyways, at the uh, New England Patriots, the New England Patriots number two seed in the AFC, and I'm just kind of not impressed with uh, them uh, that much this year. I think they're a pretty weak number two seed. If this is the NCAA AA bracket, I would not have them reaching the Sweet 16. Uh, a lot of injuries for the Patriots, tons of injuries for the Patriots. Uh, they've been chugging along all year long, though. Do have the number 10 ranked defense in the NFL. And, but I just don't really see, uh, I don't know, Tom Brady has not been impressive the last um, since uh, they lost the Super Bowl last year. All season long, he's been up and down. He's had a couple of good games. He's had a couple of horrific games. And I think the Colts, uh, I don't know, I, I use the word mojo a lot, but I think they're going to work their mojo, go in there with Foxborough, and uh, get it done. I uh, think the Patriots are out of the playoffs again. Belichick has done a tremendous job coaching this year. But the Colts will go in and beat the Patriots. In the other matchup looking around here, we're looking at um, San Diego Chargers. Philip Rivers in his bolo tie against uh, Peyton Manning in his Papa John's commercials um, in Mile High Stadium. Mile High Stadium in Denver, Colorado. Hey, man, let's check out the game, bro. Get some, some Funyuns and some cheese dip. <laughs> All right. There you go. A uh, little uh, pot joke there for you guys. Um, yeah, you know, this is a great matchup. AFC West matchup. Uh, these teams have played each other twice. Uh, San Diego Chargers were actually able to go into Denver and win a game. Um, it was a close game in San Diego when they lost. To the Donkeys. Uh, the Donkeys have uh, been playing without Von Miller for most of the year. Still an adjustment they'll have to make uh, scheme-wise. A little bit easier for the San Diego Chargers uh, to scheme against. I'm not sure if they're going to have uh, Wes Welker back. I haven't been paying attention, but I imagine that they will. Um, this is a little bit more vulnerable uh, Bronco team than we thought. Their defense does not really stop anybody. They're giving up around, I don't know, I would guess 30 points a game. That's not accurate. I don't know. Seems like their defense gives up a lot of points, though. And uh, they win a lot of their games in shootout style. Phillip Rivers in that controlled offense. Uh, remember last week I mentioned a lot of underneath stuff, a lot of time possession. That's pretty much what they did to the Bengals. Uh, you know, so let's see what let's see, uh, let's see what will win out here. Um, you know, Denver's going to want to run with the ball. Denver's going to want to get it up tempo and score pretty much every time. Chargers are going to try to keep the ball out of Peyton Manning's hands. They're going to run the ball. Ryan Matthews, Fresno State Products, said he's going to play regardless of his injury status. Uh, Danny Woodhead still a tremendous weapon for Philip Rivers, and I can't say enough about Keenan Allen as a rookie coming in and playing tremendously out of the wide res wide receiver position. I just um, I don't put it, like I said before in the other video I don't put a lot of stock in what these teams were able to do against each other before, but I think that uh, all indications are that this is going to be a good chess match. This is going to be a tough game. I don't think it'll necessarily be as high scoring as uh, uh, we would have thought in the regular season. I think t things tend to buckle down a little bit in the playoffs, anyways. Um, but, you know, I could see, I could really honestly see it going either way. I think San Diego is playing a little bit special, they're playing with borrowed money, and Denver is vulnerable, but I will take the Broncos to win. So, that sets up an AFC matchup of the Colts and the Broncos, which is a good matchup, uh, good, intriguing. Uh, you know, you get Peyton Manning, uh, the Colts, Peyton Manning Bowl Part 2 next week, um, per my predictions. Uh, let's see, last week I was 2-2. Two not too good. My wife was 2-2 two two unofficially. Connor 
my son was three and one. That little rat, I knew he was gonna pull it out, man. Well, what can I say? He's everything he knows he learned from his dad. Uh, yeah, so I'll get his video on here maybe a little bit later. We'll get him to make his predictions and post those up here today. Thank you for watching my videos. Go Bo Jackson. Go uh, Oakland Raiders. Great decision to keep uh, Dennis Allen around. They really didn't have any other choice. Um, they're going to have a lot of cap room. They're going to be a player in the draft. They're going to have the number five pick overall. Uh, they have a full slot of draft picks. Like I said, they have flexibility with the cap. They should be able to uh, raise the talent level on that team. Talent level is something they've been sorely lacking. Uh, you guys don't care about that, though, so that's fine. I'll cut it short. AFC preview, I've got the Colts, and I've got the Donkeys. And to recap in the NFC, I have the 49ers and the Seahawks. It's a West Coast affair here, pretty much. All right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your football weekend. Have a good one. Bye-bye.